Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have a plus 7 whole square equals to 25 and we solve this problem for the values of a. So uh, this is a very nice problem. Uh, now we solve this problem for two methods uh, and I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have uh, any other method uh, in your mind please don't hesitate to uh, write this method into the comment section so uh, here first we discuss our method number one uh, and now here in first method uh, we solve this problem with the help of this algebraic formula you know that if you have a plus uh, x plus y whole square equals to x square plus 2 times of x y plus y square so here first we uh, apply this nice formula in the left hand side of the above equation so that our above equation is written as here our x is a and our y is 7 so according to this formula we expand this term as first you have x square here our x is a square plus 2 times of x y so again our x is a and y is 7 plus y square so here our y is 7 square and it is equals to 25 uh, and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications and now here first we add or subtract the like terms and we have this is a square plus this is 7 times of 2 becomes 14 a plus this 7 square equals to 49 and here we move this 25 in the left hand side it will becomes a minus 25 and this is equals to 0 so here further in the next step uh, we uh, need to write this equation into the simplified form so we have this is uh, a square plus 14 a and we need to subtract these two values and when you subtract this 9 minus 5 we obtain 4 and this 4 minus 2 equals to 2 and, and this is equals to 0. So now you see here uh, this equation will become a quadratic equation in a variable. Uh, so uh, you very well know about uh, how to solve the quadratic equation. Uh, so we have three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is a factorization method uh, the second method is completing square and the third method is by applying the quadratic formula so that uh, now we solve this problem uh, by applying here the quadratic formula so in order to applying the quadratic formula first we need to write the coefficients of this equation uh, and its coefficients are capital A equals to 1, capital B equals to 14 and capital C equals to 24 and we state the quadratic formula as A is equals to sorry uh, this is small a is equals to minus b plus minus square root of uh, b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the over quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute uh, the above values of a b and c here and it will be written as uh, so small a is equals to this is minus b the value of b is 14 it will becomes minus 14 plus minus square root of b square so here uh, b is 14 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 24 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so that uh, here we need a uh, more simplification and it will be written as a is equals to this is minus 14 plus minus square root of here you see that this is 14 square and we know that 14 square equals to 196 minus when you multiply this 24 this 4 with this 24 you get 4 4 the 16 we write 6 and carry 1 4 to the 8 8 plus 1 becomes 9 so this will become here 96 and it is divided by 2 1 the 2 
so here we need to subtract these two values and we will obtain here our a is equals to uh, minus 14 plus minus square root of 196 minus 96 becomes 100 and it is divided by 2 so here we need more simplifications and it will be written as a is equals to this is minus 14 plus minus here we know that the square root of 100 is equals to 10 and it is divided by 2 and now here we need to break this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a equals to minus 14 plus 10 divided by 2 the second case is uh, we write a is equals to minus 14 minus 10 divided by 2 so from first case we easily get minus 14 plus 10 is equals to minus 4 divided by 2 and here you get the value of a is equals to minus 2 this is the our first real solution of the given problem and now here uh, from this equation we have a is equals to minus 14 minus 10 becomes uh, becomes here minus 24 and it is divided by 2 so here you get the value of a equals to minus 12 so these are the two uh, values of the given equation so this is the our final answer of this problem which we get here from first method uh, and now here we move uh, forward uh, to again solve this problem uh, for second method so now here in second method um, first we need to copy down a given question statement here so that uh, the given question statement is a plus 7 whole square equals to 25 and now in second method uh, we solve this problem uh, with the help of this formula if you have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we need to use this nice formula but first we write this into the standard form we move 25 in the left hand side it will be written as a plus 7 whole square minus 25 equals to 0 so here we rewrite this equation as a plus 7 whole square minus we write this 25 as 5 square and this is equals to 0 and now we apply the above formula so after applying the above formula it will be written as a plus 7 minus 5 into a plus 7 plus 5 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here uh, we need to simplifications here so 7 minus 5 becomes plus 2 and here you get 7 plus 5 becomes 12 and this is equal to 0 and now we divide this equation into two cases the first case is we write a plus 2 0 and the second case is we write a plus 12 equals to 0 so here you get the first root of the given equation is minus 2 and the second root of the given equation is a equals to minus 12 so this is the final answer of this question and i hope so you like both of this method please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos